We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going super old school. I these games just dropped on Steam. There's a whole bunch of them, and I will maybe pop in and do a single episode of each one. And then we'll focus on a single one and start playing through it. I've been wanting to get into some old school games, and I've always been kind of curious about dungeon crawlers and things of that nature, and I just never really pulled the trigger. It looks like this has come my way, and now there's a chance to pull that trigger. So big a shout-out and a thank you to the publisher for hooking me up with the codes for like all of their stuff here. I'm looking forward to diving into it and checking it out. A lot of you may have played these games in the past. I'm not entirely certain. Either way, it's Dungeons & Dragons, The Forgotten Realms, The Archives Collection 1 from Westwood Associates, Strategic Simulations, and SNEG, or SNEG, releasing on March 29th, 2022 onto Steam. And uh, the Archives 1 is Eye of the Beholder, Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon, and Eye of the Beholder 3, Assault on Myth Draenor. All right, we're going to go and watch the opening cinematic storyline thing. I'll, I'll narrate it for you guys. And then we're going to go and start a new party and begin our adventure. An official advanced Dungeons & Dragons computer product. Sweet. I of the Beholder, a legend series fantasy role-playing saga part one. We, the Lords of Waterdeep, have gathered to purge our city of an ancient evil. Give call to the heroes of the land, and let us choose our champions. Master, master. They think they have found a solution. We commissioned you to find the nature of this evil and destroy it if you are able. Prepare for the dangerous journey. Begin your search below the city. We have them. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh's Pikachu Skeddis the fate is sealed. <laughs> Alright folks, all that being said and done, I'm a pretty big fan of some old school games, some retro games, and uh, this is really something I hadn't got to dive into and check out. I know people have talked about things like this for years, you know, the, the old school dungeon crawlers, first person moving around doing all that stuff. We'll see how I uh, take to it. Hopefully you guys get to enjoy the ride. I'm sure I'm going to make a ton of mistakes, do a lot of dumb stuff, so hopefully... Through some trial and error, maybe a little bit of guidance from you folks, I'll be able to make some right choices and do some cool stuff. So, let's create our new party. Now, the good news is we're able to utilize a mouse in this. So, that'll be fun. All right. Start with our first character up front. I'm going to make him a dwarf. A dwarf mans. He's going to be a fighter. He's going to be chaotic good. We have to choose a different face for him if we want. It's going to kind of go through this real quick. Oh, I mean, you can't get much more dwarf than that. And then, it, and I played around with this a little bit. It looks like you can modify and just, like, add points like crazy. I, I don't really understand how that works exactly. This modified thing is very strange to me. So what we're going to do is we're just going to re-roll until I get some stats that I want, and then maybe I'll shrink them, shrink them down, remembering how many points that I took away, and then reallocating them. In fact, this is actually not bad. I think I may just reallocate this. So we're going to modify. So we're going to take down 8 strength. Sorry, uh, sorry. We're going to take away 8 intelligence. 
And we're going to take away one Wisdom. And we're going to take away one Dex for right now. So essentially what that means, if I'm not mistaken, the mistaken is uh, we now have 10 points that we're supposed to be able to allocate. Now I can allocate more, I don't know why. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to move down here. 8, 9, and 10. Constitution and Strength, kind of my, my go-to stuffs. So that should be it. This is basically what I'm going to run with. Uh, I could technically... You know what? Let's do this. Let's drop our Wisdom to 8. And our Int to 8. And what if we increase Constitution by 1, 2... Nope, just 1 point. Okay. And our Strength by 1 point. Oh, I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to take it away. Uh, we'll do our Charisma by 3. 1, 2, and 3. I can keep going, but I'm not going to. So I think that's fine. I said, I don't know why. Like, look, we go back to Wisdom. I could pump it all the way up to whatever. You know, it doesn't make any sense. So modifying it this way seems less good. But I'm trying to keep the number of points that we got in our roll accurately as opposed to being forced into using the rolls that as they come through. So that's going to be the plan moving forward. If you guys hate that, I'm sorry. I should probably just stick to rolling and get whatever I get, but this is the way I'm going to do it, and hopefully that's okay with you guys. All right. We're going to keep him. He's going to be... Hmm. Dwarf. Dwarf the Dwarf. Okay, right, then we're going to go with our next one. It's going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a human female. You know what? So here's one of the things that I don't know about right now. So so bear with me here. Oh, that's cool. We actually have a, a fair few different folks. I didn't know. Uh, I'm going to do something different here then. Uh, I'm going to go maybe elven female. Just, I just want to see what different things we have. I want I want a thief, essentially, on the front lines here. Uh, she's going to be... She's going to be chaotic neutral. And yeah, you guys, you guys know. We're going with the redhead. All right. So again, I like the stats that we have. I'm going to modify it, but try to keep the same amount. I don't know what any of these stats do 100%. Again, I'm not a Dungeons & Dragons veteran, so I have a rough idea. I've played enough games to have a pretty good understanding of what's going on, but I'm not 100% sure. So I don't know if Dex is specifically only for ranged attacks, or is it only for armor? Like, I don't know. Same thing with strength. Is it the only thing that increases your attack? Does it allow you to hold more stuff? Constitute, like, it really depends on, you know, what what's what. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this is all going to be fine. So we're going to modify this. Again, I'm going to lower int down to, oh, do we have 15 to start with? Oh, no. You know what? I'm just going to re-roll. I, I, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Okay, this is where I decided uh, I'm going to land my roll. We're going to modify from here. We're going to take one. We're going to take four. So that's five points. We're at 19 decks. I'm going to go... So we have five points. I'm going to go to 15 from 11. So I only got one more point. I'm going to put it into Constitution. Don't know if Strength would be the better play right now or what. But that should be accurate. So what what actually keeps our, our armor class? Because I feel like dexterity and constitution and stuff would, but it looks like our, our int and our wisdom seem to affect that in some way as well. I don't know. Either way, we're going to roll with this. We're keeping it. And it's going to be just red. We're just going to call her red. It's fine. All right, down here, we're going to go with... Let's just see what a gnome female's choices are we're gonna go with um no i don't i don't want that uh halfling female no we're gonna go with the human female she's gonna be our ranger she is going to be again chaotic good i'm all about that chaos eh, i mean i'm not really loving 
You know what? That's that's fine. All right, rolled around a bit. This is gonna be what we actually go with here, I think. I don't know all the the ins and the outs of this. I'm gonna modify real quick. I mean, I feel like this is actually pretty decent. I'm gonna lower int by two points. I'm gonna raise dexterity by two, and I think I'm just gonna leave it. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we're gonna keep that, and she's gonna be called Jade, because why not? We got Red, we got Jade, we got Dwarf. And then finally, again, this may be a mistake. Maybe I wanted an actual spellcaster. Probably would have been smarter. Uh, maybe even having a human, fe or, uh, yeah, human female as a paladin on the front lines might have been a good call too. Hmm. Well, we'll see. On his back end, I think we're gonna go with the dwarf male. I'm gonna make him a cleric. We're gonna make him lawful good though. We get you kind of have to, right? You know, I'm going to say we're just going to keep that. I'm just going to go with it. And it's going to be... Up. Oh, can I go full? No. Oh, dear. <laughs> I, I now have an S no matter what. It's going to be S. It's going to be Barnes. Barnes. Chi chess uh chaz um let's see uh barts there we go we're just calling barts all right so we've got dwarf red jade and barts maybe a terrible party that i've created apologies if it is but let's get into the game so essentially what you guys are seeing is it's stretched out to um a uh, full screen i say stretched out to full screen it's not 100% accurate. It's uh, it's considered full screen right now for you guys. I'm playing it on a windowed mode, and it's got something called, what do they call it? Uh, give me one sec here. They have called it the all-seeing eye, I believe is what this is. And essentially what this gives me is, oh, no, that's in the way. Hold on. One sec. There we go. The all-seeing eye, uh, you won't be able to see it on, on your screen, guys, but off to the right over here, past what you can see, there's actually a little thing that maps out the uh, dungeon for me. And up top, I'll actually get to see the health and all the stuff from the enemies that we're facing. I don't know that I can include that. It would just kind of make everything really, really weird for you guys to see. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll play around uh, and, and try to include more stuff so you guys can get a better understanding of what I can see. So I'll have a little bit of extra information that you won't have. All right. Um, I'm going to be probably using the mouse for most of this stuff, if not everything, or just about everything. We have an axe. We have a short sword. Jade has a short sword as well. And she's got a dagger. I was kind of hoping she would get like a bow and an arrow. Okay, so let's go to camp real quick. Let's pray for some spells for our cleric here. Uh, cure light wounds, bless, detect magic, protect from evil. I think that's good. And then we say okay, and we're going to have to rest for that. Rest to gain spells. I think we'll wait to rest until a little bit later on. All right, so let's move around. There's a rock on the ground. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Never know when a rock's going to come in handy. Actually, can we put that in our hand? I think that we can. Maybe I can throw it. All right. So we're heading down the adventure path here. It looks like there's definitely something on that skeleton. There's a switch on the wall. And we're going to scooch up. Gather this. These are lockpicks. Sure. Sure. I'll throw them there, and hold on, what is this? Okay, it kind of shows the different uh, stats and stuff. Nice. nice. All right, and then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit this. And then we're going to step back over, and indeed there is something there. And it's starting to swing on us. So we right-click. We Yeah, we right-click, 
and we start swinging on the enemy. Now the back line can't swing if it can't reach, which unfortunately it couldn't reach except for the throwing knife on Jade there. We did get hurt a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. Jade doesn't have any extra throwing knives. Okay. And he can't use any healing spells yet. Oh, we can pick up the bones too. Here, hold that. Okay. Well, our adventure begins, I guess. Something scurries deeper into the floor drain. Well, that seems safe. You can use your numpad to maneuver around. It is actually quite good to do that, but I'm afraid I'm going to hit a button and screw up my scene. So we'll see if we continue that path. All right, there's something on the wall here. This rune is unrecognized. I don't know what that is in reference to, but sure. Let's go take a peek. Nothing's coming on through. Okay. Uh, something scurried deeper into the drain. Nothing seems to come eat us here. So we're going to continue going. We're going south now. Drainage crate there. Taking a peek around the corner. Not seeing a lot. There's a switch on the wall over there. And there's definitely something coming through in front of us. Oh, God. That is so many things. That is a lot of nasty bad guys coming to kind of own us. Okay. We could still slap them with our hands, which I think is hilarious. All right, we were able to succeed, but uh, Dorf is feeling a little bit banged up. Scroll of ma uh, Detect Magic. Sure, we'll put that on you. Um, a dagger taken. We'll put that there. We'll put the daggers in the hands of the others. Maybe I'll, I'll actually... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace your uh, sword here with a dagger. So she can double throw right now, which is nice. And then we scoot up. Looks like there's a pressure plate right there. Put that in your hand. Nothing seems to be coming after me. It just closed the door. If we, if we step off of it, does it... Okay, so we can leave it open. It's just a quick trigger and removal. These are rations. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, I'm spinning there. I was uh, coughing one of my lungs up. It didn't feel good. It hurt. I don't know why I'm coughing, but I am. All right, so we have rations. These are iron rations. Okay, so apparently we have food. We have health, obviously. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to camp now. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and rest the party. Bart's is casting healing on us. We've rested for almost, almost, uh, well, like a day and a half there. Uh, how hungry are we now? Oops. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, that nah, didn't really affect our food uh, supply issue here. Okay. All right. Moving right along. Oh, there's something right there. Did you guys see that? That was horrifying. Oh, it's a worm. Okay, I guess we'll wait for the worm. I I can only assume it's coming back. Oh, yeah, it's definitely coming back. We hit it. Uh, okay. It's worth 120 experience. It's got one HP left, and I think we killed it. It's only got six HP total. We hit it, it's got one HP, and it's dead. All right. So we managed to succeed. And essentially, where I'm seeing that is above the screen. I'll see if I can't include it somehow. It's just going to, like, size everything weird, and it's going to be kind of difficult to to show you the little extras that I have, but I'll try to I'll try to include it in the future. We shall see. It's, there's another worm in front of us. Is it coming over here? It is. Okay. Hey, Bard's gained a level of experience. Very nice. 
I don't know what I need to do with that knowledge now that we we have it, but can you can you level up somehow? Also, we have this in our inventory. And let's take a look at what this this actually is here. Commission and letter of Mark or Mark Marque, Marquis, Mar Marque, I got nothing. Uh this document is a binding commission of Service to the Lords and Sovereign City of Waterdeep. The bearers of this document are agents of the Lords of Waterdeep and are granted full rights of passage beneath the City of Waterdeep. Any who would dare interfere risk the full penalty of our wrath. Information has been presented to us that there is a plot afoot in our city. Evidence points to the sewers that run beneath Waterdeep. We have no information about the exact nature of the threat, but we feel the urgency is grave. We commission you to find the nature of the danger and to destroy it if you are able. You are granted full rights of a mark. Sure. All treasures, artifacts, or other valuables are yours by right of conquest. This writ is made legal and binding by our mark on this fifth day of Marpinoth in the Year of Shadows. Well, there you go. So we're officially sanctioned, apparently. Cool. Uh, so she got hurt a little bit. Now, how do spells work? Oh, they're just right there. Okay. On you? Cool. Okay. I have a rough understanding of how spells work now, I guess. Granted, we don't really have a mage, per se. Okay, we're gonna... Oh. Do they not see us here? They do not see us here. Aha! Oh, I hit the wrong button. You fool. All right, and it looks like we're getting some more uh, daggers just in general, which is nice. Is that there for you? Now, it does seem strange, and again, we can always, like, flip-flop some people a little bit if we need to. It does seem rather strange to me that... The folks in the back can't necessarily attack, and we can't have more than one person in the front. Oh, what are these? It's a scroll of armor. Sounds like something we could use here. And a scroll of bless. Which just makes sense to give to our, our paladin. Good old paladin. Paladin bots. Yes. All right, so there should be a door right there. There is. There's a worm on the other side of the door. Does not look like we have a path into the room. So let's go this way. I am pretty sure we haven't been down here yet. Actually, I can look. Yes, we have not been down here yet. All right. And there's a door. That's all there is, just the door. Okay. Nothing seems to want to kill us yet. Oh, oh God. Oh, mistakes were made. Potentially. Are they coming? Oh, yeah, 100% they're coming. All right. Start chucking it out, boys and girls. Slap them with the hands. Put your hands on them. Okay, we did it. We beat them all. Woo! It was rough. I have to assume that the dagger is probably better than a rock. So maybe it makes more sense to not throw the rock on uh, on enemies. I mean, maybe. I could be wrong as well. Of course. All right. We're not really getting all that hurt, which is great. Oh, there's another rock. Oh, look at that. We're just starting to get a lot of ammo now. Huh? Pretty soon, that's all we'll be doing is chucking rocks out at people. All right, well, we're about out of time for the episode, which is, as I said, a very interesting thing. I very, very much uh, am enjoying this. Again, it feels a little weird. I wish I could control or I could change some of the controls a bit because I would just move stuff over to WASD, and that would just be much more comfortable for me. 
to actually be able to maneuver my character. And I don't really feel like getting into DOS box and trying to fix all that and everything else. So, yeah, if there was a way that they could give us the ability to do some custom controls, I would appreciate, like, Q and E or even Z and C as the turn buttons, and then W, A, S, and D as the step forward, back, left, and right. And then using my mouse and the other stuff seems just fine to me. But it is what it is. This is where we're at right now. This is what we're dealing with. All right. So there's a panel there that opens a door, but it closes if we walk past it. So I think our first puzzle is solved right here. If we want to go through this door. Did I step to the... I think I did. I Did I step to the side? Yes. So this will put us into a room with another rock, apparently. Nothing going on there. Another rock over here. Just, to, you know, we want to keep our, our pet rock collection going strong. So, gats to do what you gats to do. Uh, this is all new uncharted territory at this point. So, what I think we'll do is we'll step back and we'll continue our adventures moving forward. I'm going to look around. I just heard noises. Always makes me nervous. All right, before we break it off, I figured I'd add the extra stuff into uh, the deal. My mouse will be disappearing behind this, unfortunately. And there's no way to, to stop that. But you'll be able to see right above my mouse here, there's going to be uh, any of the enemies that we run into contact with. You'll be able to see it up in that area. It's going to be a little bit small, but you should be able to read it, I'm hoping. And over here on the right, of course, is the map. Again, a little bit small, but maybe it'll give you guys a little bit of a better understanding of where we're at, what we're doing, how we're moving, and so on and so forth. And instead of just ending the episode here, I now feel like we 100% need to get ourselves into some sort of combat before we break it all off. So, that being said, let's go take a, a walk on the the old wild side, as, as I'm sure they say. Not sure who says it, but somebody is bound to say it at some point. All right, that is kind of a dead end. Oh, that is not a dead end. That is a very live end. And that leads right back to where we already were. Okay. That's cool. Uh, we opened a shortcut, I guess. That's fine. Let's go see what is over this way. Again, drainage great there. Oh, oh, this one leads right into combat. So you can see right here it shows the cobalt, uh, and basically what they what they do. And we're just chucking all of our weapons and just missing everybody, but eventually we got them. So now we got to go find our missing weapons as they went flying off into the distance there. But you got to see a little bit going on there, which I thought was pretty cool. So I do like the fact that those exist. Oh. Okay. Oh, is that a is that a dart? That is a dart. Well, you now have a dart, which may or may not do more damage. I don't actually have any idea. Still, it's kind of cool. I kind of wish there was a way of, like, getting more information about the item that you're looking at, or that you have in your inventory, but there just doesn't seem to be that. Doesn't seem to be something that you can really do. But still, I'm just glad that you guys got a chance to actually kind of see what I was talking about. I, I should have maybe uh, figured this out beforehand. I thought everything looked kind of cool. Oh, there's a, there's a hole above our heads. I mean, we can't seem to look above it, but or up into it, but still. It's there. All right. Well, we're going to break it off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, you'll probably see a few more like this coming on to the channel uh, over the next few days. As, uh, again, the publisher was kind enough to send me, like, the entire collection that they just released on Steam for me to do some coverage of. So what I'd like to do is actually cover every single one of the games if I can. Or at least, like, these are, this is like a triplicate, right? The Eye of the Beholder 1, 2, and 3. I'll cover the Eye of the Beholder 1 as it's part of the, the um, Collections 1. And in Collection 2 and Collection 3, I'll cover one of those games. 
and essentially give you guys an idea what all these games look like. And then we're going to probably focus on this game, maybe, or another one that maybe we find more fun. And we'll just start with that. We'll play through it, and then we'll just continue and see. But we'll get, a, like, a first episode out on all of those, just so you guys have an idea of what's out there, what they just released, and what you're getting yourselves into if you are going to go pick up those games, purchase them, and buy them, and enjoy. Um, I believe this might have been on some other platforms back in the day, but it just now got launched onto Steam. It does seem to work just fine. I had no problems actually launching the game, so that was really cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing a bit more. Like I said, I've never really got into 100% these uh, dungeon crawlers, these first-person dungeon crawlers with um, real-time actual combat and stuff. So, you know, this might lead into what many folks have wanted me to do for a long time, some of the Might and Magic series. So we'll see. We'll see. Either way, a big shout-out and a thank you once again to Sneg or S-N-E-G for hooking me up with all the codes for all this stuff. I really appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to covering more. If you guys want more information about the games, where to get the games, information on the developer, publisher, any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links, just like always. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let me know your thoughts. Throw a comment down below and just tell me what you think of it. And I will see if I can't maybe resize some stuff so you can see maybe in the bottom corner over here or something, I can chuck the, the map as a, an overlay or something so you guys can still see that and just resize it in OBS. I'll, I'll play around, see what I can get for you guys. So you can have a little bit more information like I do as well. All right, folks, until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.